OMG girls I got too many hoes um, we're not gonna talk about why the angle's the angle because like I told y'all before um I was waiting on a new um like camera car mount and I finally got it I got it a while ago but I just have not had the I guess the power to like put it on there and I've been in my car tons of times since I got it but I don't know I'm just I don't know I be just I don't know doing stuff I got some new sim cards because the one I had I just had to keep deleting old footage because I literally had no storage on it. I went to Best Buy yesterday, got me two of them. I have like 10 hours worth of storage now. So we're good guys, we're good. So now we are on our way to our nail appointment, running late as per usual. Um, we've talked about this previously guys with my time management skills. And like I said, I've been praying about it. And I've been trying, but like I'm even late to work. I told y'all I just got this new job a couple weeks ago. And when I say, I haven't even really talked to y'all about this job, so I guess I'll do a quick like little rant about it. I'll to y'all about like my desire for wanting to get into education and higher education and public speaking and you know maybe even doing my own TED talk on education and our current educational system one day, you know? Just you know thoughts, desires I have. This new job, I'm working in a school and I'm working with um young adults who, you know, have behavioral and mental disabilities. Um, and when I tell y'all, like, I don't have any patience. I always pray for patience as well, as well as time management <laughs> when I pray. Um, but I don't have any patience, and I feel like with this position, it drives me absolutely insane. Um, my students get on my nerves all the time, but there has been very rewarding days um, that make me think, like, oh, maybe I can stick this out. Maybe I can, like, you know, um, deal with, you know all the BS it's not really BS it's just you know some people aren't built for um, you know handling um, people with disabilities every set every single day and I work five days a week seven hours a day so like I'm with these kids for half of my day I know they say we have 24 hours of the day but no they lie we have 12 um, but yeah one thing that's been keeping me sane is going to the gym. I'm seeing the rewards of my body just having that consistent routine. I've been eating consistently, making sure I'm fueling my body. And one thing with this job is like I pack my breakfast, I pack my lunch. So like I'm literally consistently eating. So the body is giving right now. And I'm so grateful. But let's get back on the job. So yeah, like I I've definitely been applying while I'm still at this current job, even though I only got there a couple weeks ago. Um, because you know, there's always more, there's always more money, there's always, you know, better opportunities, there's always room to grow. Um, so yeah, I don't know where, you know, God will lead me in these next couple of months with this job, but for right now, I guess I'm alright. But like I said, if they piss me off too bad, I'm gonna do one of my dudes. Dip. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're on our way to the nail salon. I haven't seen my girl Cindy in a couple weeks she's been booked and busy so like every time I've tried to call and get an appointment she's been booked um so yeah I'm about to go see her right now look at my nails y'all like they're crusty and dusty so I'm excited y'all know I'm a girl and I love to you know feel good and look good get my hair my nails done facial spa all that stuff I'm a girl I love that stuff so I'm so excited to be able to do that right now get a break from my job from these kids um and just you know take care of myself like I feel like in the last couple of years I've really been doubling down on just the self-care in all aspects of my life and I love that for me so yeah I guess I'll see y'all when we get to the next line all right bro we are here at the salon currently get my feet done um of course with my indecisive self I'm not sure exactly what color I want to do but it's most likely going to be red like they have like all these different like reds and stuff yeah all these different like reds but i think i'm definitely gonna go with probably this one which looks very similar to the one i just had on um and i think i'm gonna go with that like dark cherry red because a lot of the girls are wearing just like regular fiery red which is like my signature color but the cherry red has grown on me like i had her um last time i came to see cindy um and it was just fire like i got so many compliments on those nails on that color like it was just 
in fuego um so yeah definitely gonna just go with the cherry red again probably um after the nail salon um i wanted to get some chipotle because i felt i was craving um and then a bottle of wine because me and bestie are having a chat today just to catch up see how we feeling um and then plan our next uh front outing but i think before any of that i don't know why i'm getting a feeling that i want to go to target i have no business being in there especially after i'm about to spend all this money else on. but like i'm a girl and girls like to shop so until you know someone's son decides that he's gonna pay for all my shopping habits gotta pay for them for myself so yeah probably gonna hit target or something but for right now i'm getting these crusty dusty toes done i'ma watch me youtube because before i left the house i was watching one of my um paid creators and i didn't get to finish the episode so i'll probably just wind up finishing finishing the episode <laughs> I'll just probably wind up finishing uh, the video while I'm here and then look for somebody else to watch because all of my girls post up at the same time. It's crazy. So I usually like just binge on all the episodes, binge on all the videos and call it a day. Um, so yeah, I gotta find somebody else. But yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to the table and then send me to chat. We hear my favorite girl Cindy. Like y'all know the vibe. Cindy don't play. Get y'all nail tech that take her time. It's all the dust. <laughs> it's all the dust. That's too funny. I'm not gonna go to Target, y'all. I honestly don't think I'm gonna go. And if I do go, I'm just gonna stop in and get some eye cream. Because the bags, if y'all can see, her bag work has. Give me a choco right now. And we love Cindy because Cindy Lou is gonna do it every time. Like. So, y'all. It's giving chrome. Like, I think that's been my theme for year 26, 2023. Wrong, sexy, stepping into new eras and going into 2024. I want to continue to push that and keep pushing it further. further. Cindy, like Cindy, she gonna eat y'all up every time. Once I put the rings on, the bracelets, over, over. Do every time, girl. Every time. You like? Every time, girl. Every time. Yeah. I hope so. Every time. Did that right. Right. Yeah. As y'all know, we always gotta do our debrief in the car after our nail appointment and baby, Cindy done did it every time. My girl gonna even every time. Like, every time. This is literally, like I said, the same exact color I got last time, just had a square shape, but she gonna do it every time. It just, like I said, it looks elegant, it looks clean, it looks natural, like, she gonna eat every time. We all time. We all say, oh, she sha, oh, she sha, oh, she sha. If y'all from Jersey, I don't know why that song just popped in my head, but like, yeah, I'm a black woman with rhythm. I feel bad for all the, all the other black people who don't have rhythm. But one thing about me, oh, she sha, oh, she sha. I'm gonna shake these hips. Everybody, 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 me and you. Nikki ate that up. And if y'all say Nikki ain't ate that up, y'all are haters. I didn't even show y'all because I'm talking too much. I'm really starting to feel like a regular Jersey Nails because while I'm walking out the door, they give me... I think a little shit for the holidays. Not y'all giving me presents. Not y'all giving me presents. Okay. Nails and feet were less than I expected to pay. And I'm getting a present on top of that. Like, stop playing with me. Y'all love me. I love y'all too. Period. We are at the mall getting some last minute stuff for this trip. Did I tell you I was going to Charlotte? I don't think I was going to Charlotte. Ah! Yeah, I'm throwing them bottles like those shots. Does he do like edibles? Edibles, like. So I'm going to Charlotte on Friday. I'm taking the train. I was going to buy like a last minute train ticket, but $700, $800. Who's paying for that? Last minute stuff. I'm gonna show y'all this item I got from H&M. I'm gonna try it on, see if it fits. It's like a gray denim skirt. Y'all know gray is my favorite color ever, and it's a denim skirt. 
I just got this top from Primark and I feel like it'll go really, really cute for this. So this could be like a, a brunch outfit or like a flea market outfit. And I told my cousin, because that's what I'm going to be staying with when I go out there. I told her, like, I'm going to wear a flea. I'm going to do all this stuff. I'm going to do that. Da, 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 da. So let's see what she said. It says it's an extra large. I am at the girl right now, so let's see if it fits. Hopefully it does fit. I'm not even gonna think of my jeans, I mean my sweats. I'm gonna put it right over. Yo, yeah. look how big this damn skirt is. Look how big. I thought I was about to finesse. I thought I was about to, you know, win. Now, look how big this goddamn skirt is. Maybe I assume that I was a little bigger than I actually am. Because that thing is banging. Like, if y'all didn't know, she's banging. Let me show y'all. She's banging. Yeah. So I assume I'm a little thicker than I am. Way too big. Too big. I'll head over to the next store. But Primark did me right. Primark did me right. I wound up getting a whole like bag full of stuff from Primark, so Primark did your girl right. Um, also, I got my mom cut my hair to Bob, so say bye to the inches because they're going to be going by my yana. But yeah, let me get a skirt bag because I'm going to wear it. Um, it's winter ish in New Jersey, so you know. I have on what's called this pink crop that I believe I got from like maybe part of the thing. One else, this top is from H&M as well. You no know, body by me, God, in the gym, and my pumas. And then that's it. That's it. We're sexy. We're cute. We're living our best lives. Um, and yeah, I just want to say this to y'all right now. I'm gonna always choose experience over money because experience is I mean, memories last forever. Always choose experiences over money. Oh, they got a lot of stuff up at H&M. Girl, I thought that was my sister. This is just a whole bunch of other black girls. These are, these really give prep. Like, they give the high school girls that I see all around the mall today. Just like, very much little women down. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna see anything else, y'all. Um, so let's head over to Forever 21 and see what it's giving over there. I feel like the last time I shopped at Forever 21, it was a dub because like Forever 21 gives like teenage girl it gives i'm in high school um yeah let's see if there's anything for the one maybe a pair of jeans a skirt if not then i'm gonna head to zara and then after that i'm gonna wrap it up because i'm already ready to go home and lay down like i have a whole full week off of work um until i go to charlotte on friday and that's probably the next time y'all see me probably friday or it may not be i'll probably pick up the camera again but yeah i have a whole full week off of work and I'm like, God is good. Because the next time I get a break this long, it's gonna be, uh, what holiday is that? It's that, spring break, spring break. So yeah, that's the next time I'm gonna get a break this long off. Oh, she's cute. This is giving grown woman. And like I told y'all, I'm definitely in my grown woman era. So stuff like this, is that much she giving? That's not bad. Stuff like this, like definitely like to my fancy stuff that's like more, Covered, but still would show body. You know, this top is cute too. But when you're a big titty girl like I am, big booty girl like I am, like you have to be very careful about how you cover that up. So that's a no. That's she. What else they got up there for me? She is so cute. She is cute. The flare sounds like right up my alley. Curve flare 29. I can't fit that. I'm a thick girl. Let's see, 29. I need at least like a 30 31. And also, I don't know if I told y'all, but I just do not want no jeans that have any rips in them. Like, I feel like I'm so like elevated past the ripped jean phase. Like, I'm just I'm so over it. I'm so over it. So, I definitely want some just solid color jeans. If they're denim, then they're denim, but I would probably prefer to lean more towards like gray, black, green, so that I can also wear the jeans to work. Oh no. And stuff like this gives me anxiety, y'all. I used to, like when I was younger, I used to shop and I didn't have a lot of money like to myself. I was going off for like, you know, my allowance. 
I would, you know, go through the big clearance racks and sit there. Now, at my big age, I'm not doing none of that. If I don't see one particular thing that I like, I'm not going through that. Look, look, look at how big the clearance is in here. You got this wall. You got these two racks. That wall back there. These racks. And then that big rack over there. It's like, who's doing that? But I'll pick that back up in a bit. My jeans are definitely pretty stretchy. Mm -hmm. Like nobody does like stretchy wide legs. Is that not a thing? Like, like is stretchy wide leg not a thing? Like, that is not, this is nice. This chocolate. I don't know what's up with like fabric with it. This is nice. Excuse me. So I'm looking for like stretchy jeans. I saw like the little like table you guys have right here, but a lot of those jeans are like real tight. I'm a curvy girl. I have to look everywhere because every single table is mixing. Mixing. Oh, okay. Like, gotcha. All of them is mixing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. One thing I do love about Zara are their scents. If you've never tried like a Zara scent before, you're missing out. One of my favorite scents from Zara. I don't even think they sell it like in the little corner section anymore. I've had to order it online, but it's called New Bouquet. If you're like a sandy, woody, musky, um, vanilla, bergamot type of girl like me, delicioso. Delicioso. That was probably my most complimented scent that I've worn ever. It is scent that I've gotten complimented on. It's new bouquet. People love that scent on me. Um, but like I say, yeah, they don't usually. The last couple times I've come to Sour, they haven't had it in the stores. So I have to order online. She smells good, so I don't know what she got on. She smells good. And it's so weird that like different hormones and our different scents, once we try like different perfumes and we put them on our skin, like they smell completely different. It's crazy how that works. It's really given like, why don't they make wide leg, stretchy, curvy jeans? Like make it make sense. Not everybody is a toothpick. More than none, you probably find people who are plus mid-sized curvy girls rather than you find girls who are completely just thin like in my opinion I don't know I'm gonna keep looking around um see if I could just luck up and find a pair of jeans like I just want a pair of jeans that's it uh, I'm back in the car just busted down some chick-fil-a <sighs> diet lemonade gonna slap every single time but yeah, just busted that down. Um, I only got stuff from like Primark and I went to this little jewelry store that was having like a sale. Got me a few rings. They have five rings for 12. I was like, that's a steal. So got me some more rings to add to my collection. The stuff that I got from Primark. I'll probably show you that when I get home. And now I'm just sitting in the car chilling, watching the rest of the new episode of Singles and Frono. Um, my sister met up with her friend. So they're in there chilling right now. I'll just chill in here until she gets back. Um, and then we're going to head to Walmart real quick so I can get some protein. Um, and then head home. Friday at 8 a.m. My train is set to depart from Trenton. So, yeah, I'm super excited. I got to start packing. I already have, like, my clothes set up in my, like, rack, like, in order of, like, how I want to wear things. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to go on this trip and just hang out with my cousin and be lit in the city for the weekend. Like... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, 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 so excited. And Charlotte all points out, not so there's a Charlie Philadelphia, but we can walk from Washington to the border of the Fort B. Hi, Tana Washington on Boyle Thank you, sir. Good morning, Tana Liza. I'm currently at the train station. We're in track number five, in track number two. But yeah, guys, I'm at the train station waiting for my train. I'm a little early. My cousin dropped me off. Um, I told her be careful of my car because that's my baby. And I need her to get to and from work. So she got to be careful. I'm just waiting for my train. I have so much stuff. Like, I had to use my big suitcase, which I wasn't expecting to use. But I'm happy. I'd rather bring more than I need than have less and then be pissed off that I don't have enough. Like, if that makes sense. But I got my little bag, my purse. Um, I'm going to read. Um, 
some scriptures um, before I get on the train to have a couple of minutes. It is what? 8 11. 8 11 a.m. Um, and then I have my suitcase, my blanket, my jacket, a gallon of water, my uh, tumbler. And then, yeah, y'all, this is what the train looks like. If y'all from Jersey, then y'all know what train train station looks like. It's really honestly not, not in sexy, not not too appealing. Like I said, just gonna read my Bible a little bit um, until the train comes. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show y'all the train. I'm gonna put my stuff up, take a walk around, like show y'all what it's giving. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Like y'all, y'all like the ball? Yeah, like the Bob. Call me BLB because it's calling me Bob. I needed to change it up from the long hair for this trip because a lot of my outfits are circled around like a lot of accessories and I just felt like long hair just wasn't gonna give. And with a nice blunt bob, like BLB, she's calling me Bob. And y'all, the glasses have really grown on me. I would say first day when I first got them, I did not, I was not feeling them. That I was feeling, I was not feeling them. But they've grown on me and I've gotten so many compliments from them. So yeah. I'll see y'all when I get on the train. Um, it's giving Polar Express. It's giving Polar Express, but no snow. And it's no on Christmas, but it's so cool. Like I've taken obviously Amtrak before. Um, I've taken the train to DC. That's the farthest I've been down like the East Coast. Um, I guess I don't even know if you call that the East Coast. That that is the East Coast. Yeah, East Coast was good. Yeah, this feels like it. This train ride is going to be 12 hours, which I don't mind. I have my adult coloring book. Um, I have a book. Um, I just finished praying, doing my scripture, so that's good. I feel like I'm I'm in the right headspace. Um, but they, I'm in the little like eating area that they have. Um, yeah, because I just wanted to give my seatmate, the person I'm sitting next to, some space. Because I could tell he's probably feeling like a little bit like I don't have a room. So if I do want to take him training again, which I will, I'm definitely probably going to do like business class or like first class or something like that. Just so I'll have extra room. I have no issue with being next to somebody, but I know some people like, you know, they want their space. Mind you, there's like mad seats behind us so i don't know why she like forced us to like sit together because there's so many open seats but hey i'll probably wind up chilling in this little like eatery area because i don't think anybody's gonna say anything to me um but yeah they have like, charger ports the sun is shining like i'm just feeling so good and i'm so excited for this trip i'm gonna walk around a little bit and show you guys like the train like however far i can go because i don't think i can go into like first class but I'll show y'all as much as I can. I'm sorry, how far can we walk up? Like just to take a walk like, around the town? Right now is walk. not a good time for you to oh, walk okay. because we're boarding people, oh, okay. and boarding. So well, just wait once you see the train is having a long thing and you can, but no video. No video? No. It's oh, okay. Well, well video, are you doing me a video of you? Because I'm not video of me, but we don't video anybody on the train. Oh, uh, we made it. By the grace of God, we made it. I just want to say shout out to my cousin for coming pick me up, period. It's girls weekend. We lit. We touched down in the CLT. They probably don't even say that out here, but you know, you know, I'm, I'm a foreigner. I'm a tourist. So, but yeah, we're about to go get tacos and margaritas. So I'm going to get dressed. It's going to be very chill. Jeans, some sneaks, call it a day. First night in the city because I'm exhausted, y'all. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I want to get something to eat, get some drink and go sleep. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see y'all after we get dressed or once we get to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see y'all, I'll see y'all. But yeah, cutting the apartment real cute, y'all. It's real cute over here. Like, it's giving stainless steel appliances. Stainless steel appliances, period. Y'all side, let me show y'all the fit real quick. Ain't none major. It's giving very chill. Like, I did not expect all my memories of the Carolinas gives hot and heat. And the fact that it's so cold out here is crazy. I got on my little hat from Primark. This top, I believe, is H&M. This jacket is from Urban 21. Got on my Tell Fleezy. These jeans from Urban 21. And then I got on my platform um, Vans. And y'all, that's it. Really chill. Gonna get some margaritas and some taco. A little guacamole. 
and keep give it cute. Give her tens and take away two. What'd it give? Eight. Eight. Eight down. Oh, brick out in the Carolinas right now? Like, don't make no sense. We came from this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Period. It's freezing. Oh, I got on a whole coat. <laughs> Global warming is crazy, y'all. Absolutely insane. Y'all, Didi said it'll be warm tomorrow, so I'm like, I bet, 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 okay. Because while she at work, I'm definitely going to be exploring until she come back. Uh huh. Definitely oh, going to run around. It's not going to be good tomorrow. I think Sunday. Sunday, the weather going to be good? Monday. Okay. Well, that's the day we outside anyway, so it's okay. That's all right. We outside. It does. Oh, it, girl, it's been raining for the last, I don't even know how many weeks in, um, girl. in Jersey. Girl, bye. Mm. I don't even know how many weeks. Every If y'all know, y'all know. Girl, it's been raining, I think, since the beginning of the summer, every single weekend. And I remember some girl on TikTok was talking about, like, why that is. And they were like, oh, something happens on the, like, the shore. And, like, it causes, like, it to, to I don't know, bubble and overload. And then, like, stuff, ch I don't know. But it, I was just like, that's crazy. They try to talk to me. Uh-uh. Dwayne? We don't coach no more. Ooh, thank you, cousin. Ooh, you. Y'all, so we're at Condito Tacos. Let me see tacos and some margaritas. Ain't nobody in here. Let's hope the food good. Let's hope the food good. Huh? Mm. All right, y'all. We can look on the menu and see what it's given. I'm definitely gonna give me a margarita because it's needed. Um, and it looks like they have those are own tacos, bowls, or nachos. Period. But a bowl sounds good. But then I want tacos. Yeah, I'm gonna get some tacos. But they got ground beef. Oh, I'm gonna get that too. Okay. Period. Let me show you the menu. Are you figuring out what you get? Hell yeah, I'm getting some tacos. Shit, I need a thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get tacos and I'm gonna get a ground beef. Well, probably two ground beef, two chicken, and then some rice on the side too. Yeah, because like I told you, I'm starving like Marvin. That train, I had my own food, but you know, that didn't last too long and that train food was disgusting. But y'all, uh, I could do a house margarita with the res resposado. Are you building your own? Um, I think I'm gonna just do the house mar with strawberry. That's what I like. Anytime I get any, oh, also, oh, the tacos. Oh, the tacos. Oh. The margaritas. oh, girl, I'm ready. I'm ready going. I'm sorry. Um, I think I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna do like chicken in one and then add like some corn and all that stuff. But, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna build it. Yeah, three ones here. I don't feel like building one. It's just like I just sound like too much. Yeah, it does. Um, that one's like chicken tacos. You talking about this top one right here? Yeah, yeah that do sound good. We'll drink me with whatever. I'm gonna get me margarita with some strawberry puree and call it a day. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it's so pretty, y'all. It gives definitely like Chipotle, but with a bar in it. That's what it gives. It definitely gives Chipotle, but with a bar in it. You know what I want to eat, girl? I already know what I'm gonna eat. Um. Okay, so can I have um two hard corn tacos? Um. With one with roasted chicken and one with uh, ground beef. Um, and inside of it, can I have um, fajitas, onions, and peppers, and red cabbage? Um, and then can I also um, do a side of rice on the side? And no cheese, no sauce. You, you said, what was the last part? Let me actually do the uh, Mexican chimichurri. Just a little bit of it. Um, thank you. Um, and then no cheese as well for the tacos. Um, yeah, like, the, you said what? Yeah, the same exact way for both. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. It's margarita time. You said what, babe? I don't care, girl. Hey. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, Y'all look how fucking big this fucking margarita is. We got money, it's so urge. Like, like it's connected out. At least y'all ain't got the plastic straws, girl. I went to Miami and they had them plastic straws. I mean, them paper straws. 
Oh my gosh. If y'all haven't been to Miami, then y'all know they try to save the turtles the paper straws. We definitely do have the paper straws. They're Girl, who's using that? What's she asking that? But in their defense, they are right they are, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. But come on now. This actually tastes like strawberry puree. It don't just taste like... Oh, it's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like raspberry lemonade. Like, you taste sweet to me. But y'all, I'm so aggy. I gotta look at the menu before we go to any restaurant because why the fuck not? Gotta make sure the food's looking good. Oh, girl, I don't think it's looking good. That's why I'm like, I, I want, I'm want. i a chicken and waffle type of hoe. I'm like, I'm a chicken and waffle type of hoe. And I don't want no stuff for fucking grits. I don't want no fucking steak car carne asada. Give me the fucking chicken and waffles. Okay, guys. So, I gotta get lit. I got a chimichurri sauce because I'm a chimichurri hoe. I love a good chimichurri. Um, so, let me show you how to taco fries with you. I got a beef one and then I got a chicken one. Unlike Chipotle's dusty ass, they actually have ground beef. And I feel like if Chipotle had ground beef on their menu, like they would make even more money. They know the gym rats love ground beef and rice. Like it makes no sense. Maybe because ground beef is expensive. I don't I don't fucking know. But they need to get with the times, okay? They need to get with the times. But I'm gonna put a little chimichurri sauce on my taco. See what she giving. This is the chicken one. Mm. Really good, y'all. Really good. All right, y'all. So this is the Tex-Mex ground beef taco. I'm not sure how to feel about it. I already had a bite. I'm gonna take another one just to, you know, see what it's giving. I would say I definitely like the chicken a little better. Yeah, I like the chicken a little better. Oh yeah, we're back in the brib. So I had cookout, y'all. I had me some chicken tenders and fries. Blessing. Yeah, I definitely did have something to eat after them tacos because big back. Um, but yeah, we about to watch some baddies. That's what he didn't even watch. I don't really watch baddies, but I've been watching the clips on TikTok, so I'm interested to see like what the full like dialogue is giving. But she said they just be on the argument and fighting, so I'm like, let's see what it gives. My skincare before we left, so I'm gonna just hit it with a with a little toothbrush, a little floss. We're gonna keep pushing. But I don't know if I ever showed y'all my undies after I started waxing. Look how, look how good they look, y'all. Like you see. Like much less the color discoloration, like this this compared to how it looked before, horrible. This one too. This one is probably even better. Y'all see, like she looks so much better and like hairless. I just I love that for me. I love not having to shave my underarms every day. I love that for me. So you get y'all some wax. Do a little Monday Michael and just it takes a while to you know perfect it, but. Once you get it, you're about that. But I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. So talk to you soon. Y'all, so the sun in my cousin's apartment, like this isn't even really doing it any justice. I'm like, let me find the best lighting in here. Oh. <laughs> y'all, like the sun in her apartment. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? I will go on the balcony, but nobody's doing all that. But y'all, ew, like it's gonna be a lit New Year's Eve vlog. We get in, 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 in. She at work right now. So once she gets off, we're gonna go to the flea market. We're gonna go thrifting, do all that gushy, gushy stuff. And then probably just go to dinner or something. Um, but right now we're both hungry. So I'm gonna go over to Bojangles and get us some chicken biscuits. Cause she said, well, Jenkins do breakfast all day. And I'm like, and this girl don't cook. So I can't cook nothing if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, y'all, it's lit. It's up. It's up. Um, see, I'm just super excited. Like I told y'all yesterday when I touched down. Let me grab some out of my bag. Um, 
like I told y'all yesterday when I touched down, like I'm just so excited to see my cousin, have a good time. Like it's literally just a vibe, like I'm so excited. But yeah, she um, gonna let us borrow her car so we can go get this food. So I'll see y'all when we get in the whip. Oh my soul. My cousin had me watching baddies last night, y'all. <laughs> If y'all know, y'all know. She had me watching South Central Baddies, though. All these girls did was knuck and buck. Knuck and buck the entire episode. I'm like, girl, I cannot. I fell asleep, y'all. I was, I was literally starting to fall asleep, but so was she. So I was I already knew we some grown girls were grown people lives because we was tired. Um, But yeah, I'm about to go ahead to go to Bojangles. I'm not sure if it's me or what it is, but if I'm in anybody else's car besides my own, I'm going to treat it just like my car. I let my car warm up. I'm going to let your car warm up if I'm using it. Because the fuck? Like, how that make it make sense? Why are you driving people's vehicles and it ain't warm up yet? Why are you driving your vehicle in the winter and it ain't warm up yet? Like, if it ain't past the sea, then what are we doing? Like, like, like really, what are we doing? <laughs> Yo, when I say lost... Lost. Somebody play the Lost soundtrack because ain't no way that I got that lost. I'm gonna have to send my cousin some money for gas because that's how lost I got. I'm not even at the Bojangles I was supposed to be at. I'm at a whole nother Bojangles, but I'm about to get the food. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, y'all only do drop. And they only do drive through, y'all. I just, I cannot, I just cannot win. I just don't understand. And then everywhere over here, they serve breakfast all day, y'all. Everybody's so big backed. And then they only doing drive through. I'm gonna have to get in the drive through, y'all. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't even. That's how you know. They probably all noticed that I'm a foreigner. 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 Cause like, it just don't make no sense. But you know, we give God the glory. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray it out. I'm about to. How I'm supposed to. So y'all only do drive through? Let me ask her. Do y'all only do drive through? Oh, that's, I'm not from here. I'm sorry. I'm like struggling and stuff. Um, oh, all right, y'all. Let me get, <sighs> y'all, I'm just, I can't even, I can't even, y'all. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. My cousin probably like, yo, where is this girl at? I didn't even tell y'all. I'm wondering why, because she didn't give me a password for the Wi-Fi, so I'm wondering why my services are working. Like, and I'm like, I'm paying for service. Y'all, I've never had the cellular data on. So Google wasn't working, internet was nothing was working. I was like, do I have to go to the motherfucking uh, 7-Eleven give me a map? Like, what's going on, y'all? Ridiculous. I can't wait to get back to her house. <laughs> like, I cannot wait. I'm definitely going to give her some money for gas because I've been everywhere in her car because I was so lost. I had to literally pull over and ask a stranger for help. He gave me directions and I still ain't followed the directions. Like, <laughs> we give God the glory though because I'm safe. I'm going to get back safe and that's all that matters. Y'all, at the Bojangles, they got steak, egg, buffalo chicken, chicken. Like, I see why in the South they big backed. Cause ain't no way, ain't no way. They got all this food. Boom, 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 Chick-fil-A. Well, Jiggles, Zaxby's, churches. Like, it's crazy. But it's okay. I got room for the extra eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to get back. Eat the food, chill, relax. Um, wait for her to come from work so we can get cute and go out because, Kurt. I already know I'm gonna be so sad to go back to my regular life and back home because I already feel sad having to go back home and go back to work <laughs> and for my life looking at the gps people beeping at me i'm like ah y'all tell me why i've been going out the house maybe like hour hour and a half just to go get food gps not working i'm lost the girl at the bojangles told me she couldn't make no bull rounds they don't make them after 11 i'll come back i'll tell Didi. she said that Didi was like no they, they can make them so I'm just getting, I'm just getting bamboos because I'm a foreigner. That's what I think it is. And then when I told Didi I waited 30 minutes for the food, she was like, 30 minutes for Bojangles? That's how you know they finessed me because I'm a foreigner. This biscuit better be delicious because the fries is decent. They salty as hell. 
But this biscuit better be delicious. Because there ain't no way. Ain't no way. 30 minutes. Y'all, I just tasted a piece of chicken. Ain't nothing special about this motherfucking chicken biscuit. The one Chick fil A better than this one. Well, I am I am appalled. I have been bamboozled. These salty ass fries, I have been finessed. Home grub, Bojangles. Ooh, it's the way you act. It's the way you act. I look cute now. <laughs> we're cute, we're giving. Cause I was looking musty, dusty, crusty, and rusty. I'm taking cousin thrifting because y'all know I'm a thrift girl, so we gonna get lit right here, oh. right there, girl. I found a good. You said it was it was another park better than that. You said? Oh no, uh uh, girl, this is the best I could find. I was like, oh, this this it, this it. After the after the nightmare I went through earlier, I was like, nah, we parking right here. <laughs> we parking right here. Ain't nobody got no time. I'm traumatized. First stop, the liquor stove. Okay, period. Okay. Let's go get some leaky. Get that leaky. Leaky. Alright, ooh, y'all. We just got to the liquor stove. Liquor stove. Finna go get us some, some drink. I'ma buy you a drink. Everybody said this place is really good. I've never been, though. I don't know why. Never what, which place? Tacos for life. Oh, I thought we could have went there yesterday. You seem like you're a Hennessy girl, and I just do not drink Hennessy. <laughs> She's like, girl, what? <laughs> yes, you just seem like dark liquor type vibes. I cannot do dark liquor. I'm a white, I'm a white girl, all day, every day. <laughs> not pretty good, right? That's y'all such a type of vibe. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I don't drink Hennessy because you make me feel like aggressive. Yo, but that's the thing. Megan loves dark, uh, dark liquor. She be drinking a Duce and all of them. Jelly all. I can't do that shit. <laughs> this is—is is this the one that we we drank yesterday? This is the last. This is the top shelf. This is the top shelf, y'all. This is the top that homegirl was talking about yeah, yesterday. They use exclusively. I'm screaming. Oh, it's over here, cousin. That's why they got a little corner. Oh, Not they got a right. little corner for all the good shit. They just think I'm. Free codes. Free codes. Oh, it's right here. How's that eat? Look at me. Do you like this one or this one? Uh, I can do either. Do either? Okay. Cause you said you don't like this one, right? No. Nah, Terramona. I don't feel like Terramona. Like, I never get drunk off Terramona. I could drink mm. that whole bottle. <laughs> Seriously? Terramona doesn't get me drunk. She said this shit don't get her drunk. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> Diddy's stomach is in the pits of hell. Cause oh. ain't no fucking way. Ain't so you want to get this one or you want to get that one? Do you think it'll be how much? That's a lot of fucking liquor. It is. That's a lot. I think we should get this one because that looks like a lot of fucking liquor. Lot of liquor. That looks like my stomach is gonna be in the pits of hell with yours. Oh, um, we gonna get the the Espelonte. Yo, I don't know what's going on with my batteries. I literally just put this fresh battery in this camera, and why is oh, you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I brought this shit, girl. Where's my phone at? Grab my phone in the car, and I got my ID in the car. Can you um, what's the name it for me? Um, unlock the door. Yeah. Alright, y'all okay. right, done got my ID in the car. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. Yeah, I can't wait to take this shot. And I already ate, so my stomach is not on, you know, dubs. So when I drink, it should not be no issue. Oh, okay. It's my phone. Y'all, and I've been, I don't know if like y'all do this when y'all go on trips, but I've been paying for like everything with my credit card and then I'm just paying my credit card off when I get home because I don't know, I guess like since I'm in a city that I haven't visited before, I do not want Chase on my line talking about some, is this you? We're closing your card because we don't know if this is you or not. Ain't nobody got time. I don't have the time or the patience. Okay. Oh shit, they got the thing blocked up. Okay. Huh? I'm coming right now. Coming. Coming. We young, we thriving, and we surviving. Y'all. I need to stop dropping this camera. Knock on wood. I need to stop dropping you because who got money to buy another $800 camera? I know. But y'all, we got the Espelonte. Espelonte. I don't have nowhere secure to put y'all because we have a car. 
we work fine in the QT. Mm -hmm. But I got enough gas to get us somewhere. So we're okay. Oh, I, I got to put on the GPS for the place. Yeah, girl. Let I me. Mean, Ooh, and can, can you put on the song tonight? Period. Okay, of course. Beyond Turt by Kevin Gates. Beyond Turt. Kevin. Eat that ass, Kevin. Kevin, be eating that ass, y'all. Bam, 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 Oh, the bins? I was gonna take us to the bins, but I was like, who's digging through the bins? I'm not. What's the bins? The bins. They said the Goodwill bins. They got them in Charlotte. Yeah, the Goodwill bins. I didn't know it was bins. It's bins. I just looked like this looks like bins. It's bins. Oh, they ain't got a lot of bags. All right, y'all. So we're thrifting. See if we can find anything cool. All right. We'll find anything cute. Girl, I thought it was a tail feezy. Girl, it could, it's cute. I'm I don't hate it. You don't hate it? We'll put it in the car. We'll figure out if you want it later. That's what I do. Whatever I see something I like, because you know, somebody might grab it right behind you. So, I always just drop it. Cute little, nice little dainty bag. Mm -mm. That's girl. Put this in the car, y'all, because like I said, somebody might grab it behind you. But you got to inspect these motherfuckers. You got to look inside, make sure no rips, ain't no holes. Because you can always wash it, but you don't want to wash something with a whole bunch of holes and rips in it. Mm. How y'all feel about these pants? So, they're nice. I love the color of the brown. Y'all yeah, know I'm like a brown, gray, earth turn type of girl, like as you can see by what I have on. But yeah, they're cute and they stretch. And I can get them hemmed if I need to. I like these. I don't think I'm gonna get these. These are cute. Let's see what else they got up in here. Let's see what else. Well, let me show you the outfit. The fit while we're in here. This is 3XL. That might be too big. Large. We like large. I see these sweat. I'm going to buy sweatpants everywhere I go because I love a good sweatpant. She said, What about that? <laughs> Not if it wasn't dirty. I'm screaming, y'all. Yeah, I know I love a good sweatpant. I'm always buying sweatpants. Yeah, these are long as fuck. Really? Long as fuck. How much are they? $8, huh? What am I? I'll be extra large, too. I love a good sweatpant. Here we go. Aww. All right. All right. Now I want to see if I can find a jacket. I'm screaming. Yeah, Kate's going to show you how many times they can flip up and down. Oh, they are. And you'll be like, okay. Oh, oh you so cute. You. Ah, you fucking shit up. Oh, ah. All right, y'all. We at the Goodwill bins now. Are you supposed to get a bin? <laughs> Poppy <laughs> really making me think that some of these places are much bigger than they actually are. Like, girl. Yes, no. I feel so bad because I've been hype thrifting up to my cousin and she was not finding anything she liked. And I'm just like, oh, a little piece of me. Positive thinking. Put out positivity, you will get positivity back. Let me stop being so negative, Nancy. Uh, so we went to the bins, and I know the girls on TikTok was like, the bins, the bins, the bins, the bins. Maybe we went to the wrong bins, because I wasn't seeing anything. And we saw this beautiful uh, black woman in there, and she was she was cute. She was giving fly, and she was like, yeah, I got most of my clothes from here. You said what? Can we put my painting in the car? <laughs> I don't think we put it in the car. <laughs> I know. Girl, we gotta go get is it? Did you put it in the trunk or something? No. No, that's the paint. Not the that the paint is sitting, girl. That paint. Girl, we took pictures and the paint is sitting on the side of the uh, place. It's so we, we, we ain't but down the road. We're gonna go right back. We ain't but down the road. We're gonna go right back, y'all. Now we forgot the painting. Where's the shit at, cousin? We can we can went a little bit further, yeah. We went a little further. Right? I think over here. Yeah, it was right here. We probably could just do like a loop and see. Yeah. <laughs> the picture that we just got from the bins sitting on the side. Y'all, cousin about to go get it. <laughs> look, look at her. 
I'm screaming! We got it! I'm screaming! It's working out. Okay. Oh wait, don't walk with you? No, walk with me. Oh, okay, I was coming. I was trying to take like a little distance. I was trying to keep my distance a little bit. Not paparazzi, I just want it like real natural, like we're just walking together. You can walk with me. Oh, I'm. But I like how you get in the yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do now. Y'all, we in the CLT. Do you know where the place is? I think it was like a little. Oh, right there. Right oh, corner. Okay, cool. I'm screaming. All right, y'all, we're going <laughs> to. Y'all, we're going to head into King's Kitchen. It's giving soul food. They have fried chicken and stuff. So, let's see. <laughs> Not the cornbread. <laughs> yes. We're going to head in here and see what it's giving. See what it's giving. Hey y'all, so we at King's Kitchen. It's a soul food spot, so I'm excited. I definitely, like said, on this trip here that I definitely wanted soul food, so I'm excited. I'm gonna show you the menu. What is it be? Fried chicken, pork chop, catfish. All the sides, they got mashed potatoes and gravy, period. Collards with bacon, period. We got a biscuit and um, cornbread basket. That shit better be hot. I'm not playing no games. And this number is my birthday. I just love seeing my birthday everywhere. But yeah, this shit should be hot. Ain't no reason why the cornbread and the biscuit ain't hot. Like, come on, please. Cornbread. The cornbread. I can't believe that girl got in that video and said that shit. We got the cornbread. <laughs> and the biscuit. And what do you say? This is like butter and like jam or something like that? Yeah, it's butter and apple jam. Okay, we're we, we gonna see what it is. So, I got fried chicken, double mash, and collards. Didi got fried chicken, sweet potato. Did you got sweet potatoes? Yeah. Um, she got broccoli and she looked like she got rice and mac and cheese. Okay. All right, y'all, let's see what it's giving. Like, hmm, let's see. Uh, what is it called? Bad Daddy. Bad. I keep saying, I keep thinking of Big Daddy. I don't know why. Bad I'm trying daddy. to think of Big Daddy. So, but yeah, we made it to the Ed we got some strawberry mars, ordered some food. I got a burger. My hands are ashy. That does not need to be in nobody's camera. Wild well, mushrooms, onions, arugula, bacon, garlic aioli. It's giving. Cousin got a chicken sandwich, some chicken potato fries. All right, Tantalized, it is Sunday morning. We're off to brunch. We forgot the bottle um, in the freezer, so cousin went upstairs to go get that. Um, but yeah, I don't think I did an outro with y'all yesterday because my camera died. So I was like literally taking, you know, videos on my phone. Um, but yeah, y'all, off to brunch. This is the vibe. Like I told y'all, I, I am in my grown woman era. So y'all are definitely gonna be seeing grown woman vibes like from this point on, well, from like I think Anissa's birthday on yeah because that's when I definitely said I was gonna start it um but yeah that's what we're doing I have on like this little off the shoulder uh long sleeve top and then I have on some flare jeans with my boots so yeah that's the vibe I think we look so cute it gives 27 definitely I'm not even 27 yet but it definitely gives 27 but yeah we're gonna get some gas first and then head over to the spot it's only like 10 minutes away from her house so we'll be fine I took some videos, like content-wise, like a little, you know, OOTD um, for like TikTok IG. Um, but yeah, I've been taking content, y'all. I ain't start editing nothing yet, cause I'll probably do that all when I get home. But I've been taking content, y'all. I've been getting it popping. But yeah, cousin got her. Uh, she got the tripod. She got the hey girl, yes, y'all. She done brought the tripod. She got the bottle. It's lit. It's up. It's stuck. See y'all at brunch. What had happened was we were going to go to this place called Lilla Bells by the house, but when I tell you I was dry, there was nobody in there. It was dry, and we trying to be we trying to be lit for New Year. So we um, went to this. We're on our way walking to this place called Cloud. So that's where we going now. About to get us some chicken and waffles, some mimosas. Jessica, the fact that she told me that they don't do bottomless mimosa here is just crazy. They don't do bottomless mimosa like here. That's ghetto. Absolutely ghetto. The way I'm trying to get drunk. Mm -mm. <laughs> On the way here, she like, oh, my hair's starting to hurt, but it's okay. Oh, okay. And I'm like, bitch, what? No, okay. 
said I'm not in pain. I told her that in the car. I said I'm not in pain. Because <laughs> I'm like, girl, you're driving. Be careful, please. Please be careful. Now that. Y'all, this is it. Cloud. We finna get leaders. Leaders. Pretty sure you have to make reservations. That's how brunch just goes here. We're going to go to the other place. Jessica, we should listen to you the first time. It's okay. It's okay. We tried our best. They said no, there ain't nothing. No seats at the bar, no tables, no nada. So it's like, all right, we're just going to go back to the place we was at the first time. <laughs> Yo, Bojangles pushed me off so bad. I'm still mad at Bojangles. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. So, yeah, unfortunately, no cloud. I believe that redirection is a blessing. <laughs> Redirection is my blessing, period. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head back to Lullabells, get something to eat, and then D said we're gonna go to a little day party at the rooftop. And I'm Woo! like, damn, rooftop me. I love a good rooftop. I told D, I was like, yo, when you come to Jersey, we gonna go to Philly, this won't be a thing. This won't be a thing. We're gonna we're gonna be late. Yeah, Charlotte been embarrassing a little bit too much. Been. Charlotte been embarrassing a little bit too much. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe I came on the wrong weekend. Like, no, it's New Year. I don't when would you know. come? I don't know, y'all. Charlotte going to get it together. The only thing I count on is Waffle House at this point. That's the only thing I can count on. I know that shit gonna be good. Okay, fresh too. I know that shit gonna be good. Fresh so. chicken and waffles better be delicious. They better be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I'm getting chicken waffles, y'all. There's chicken waffles for this that's it. Maybe a little potato if I want on the side. But other than that, chicken waffles. His fat ass is sitting right here. Well, he messaged you? <laughs> ah, that's what messaged manifested him. him. He just literally was sitting oh, he has right there. He a little chub chub. You like chub chub? I like oh, I don't like that mustache. But I don't, cousin. I like chub chub. Because in that chubby. mustache is the disgusting. My mom said he look crazy. She ain't nobody. She ain't nobody. She ain't nobody. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hey. All right, y'all. We just got back home. I um, we went to the Walmart, got some Oreos because I need to do a little snack. And then we got some red grapes. <laughs> got me some more water because I need it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to um, relax pre-game before we go out to stats tonight. We're not going to be going to stats till like 10 o'clock. So we got like three hours to chill, relax, shower, do whatever we need to do, and then go to stats. So but we were chilling tonight. We got some leftovers from brunch. So I'm probably going to eat that before we leave. So we, you know, have some in our belly. We were chilling. Am I missing an earring? Yeah. I got two. I got two earrings in my ear, but let me see. See, I dropped the earring on DD floor. She she told me I dropped it on the floor. We didn't even have notice. So I feel like I've definitely talked to y'all before about like my anxiety and how high it is sometimes. I honestly think I get that shit from my father's side, my grandma. I was just on the phone with her and she was like, 
you didn't tell me you was in town? I was like, Grandma, you knew I was coming to town. She's like, but you ain't tell me you arrived. And I was like, Grandma, I'm here. We went out to brunch. She was like, oh, okay, you coming tomorrow? I was like, yeah, Grandma, I'm coming tomorrow. She's like, okay, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. I was like, Grandma, we gonna come tomorrow. So yeah, that high anxiety, I get that from my grandma, y'all. <laughs> I get that from Dorothy because ain't no way. Ain't no way. You know, I texted Dion trying to ask her when she was coming home. She didn't reply to me. I asked her what they were doing, you know, she didn't take me back. <laughs> Disrespectful ass. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, because grandma said that. No, my mama said that. Oh, no, no. A shotty shot, shot o'clock. All right, y'all, we ready? We want to take a shot before we leave. Yes. That's what Ah, and bikini bottom, Mama Sandy. Mo uh, Balenciaga bottoms in the socks. Hey, on my suit. On my suit. <laughs> Hi, Terrorizers. I just wanted to say hello. Happy New Year to you sexy individuals. Last day here in Charlotte, we're gonna go see my grandma and my aunt and them. Um, Cause you know, obviously I don't get to see often cause you know, we live like hours and hours apart. So we're gonna do that, probably go get something to eat. Um, but yeah, last night was, yeah, um, I'm not very much like a club girl, so we went to the club and it was, you know, interesting. I think I would be bringing the new year at anybody's club or lounge ever again. I think I'll probably just be staying home for most new years from now on. Um, house parties type vibes and stuff like that, you know, bringing the new years with friends and things like that, but yeah. So yeah, it was interesting. Um, but like I yes, like I said, this is our last day, so go see my grams, my aunts and stuff. I'm washing a load. Thank gosh my cousin is allowing me to wash my clothes here so that I can go home with clean clothes. I'm actually supposed to be leaving. I'm supposed to leave today because I have work tomorrow. But I'm just gonna call out because you now who's doing that? Who's doing that? Um, so my train uh leaves tomorrow and then I'll get back home tomorrow night and then I'll go to work on a Wednesday. So I technically only have three days of work for the week. I love that for me. Y'all wanna say hi to um, the sexy girl right here? Evie? You said what, cousin? Oh no, yeah, I'm just recording Evie. But he, does he do like edibles, edibles? Well, Jessica told me she'll take all this footage and go and be like, wow, it's nothing. <laughs> footage. You'll be sitting there with a 20 minute video, you'll be going for five days. They're like, um, excuse me, hey, what's going on? Trip. For real, what's going on? Yeah, we was writing and chatting, but we just got some Chick fil A. Um, because the drive to my grandma's is like an hour 45, so we're gonna get us got some Chick fil A, eat that. Um, now we're getting some gas, and then yeah, we're gonna head to see my grandma and my aunties and them, say hi, maybe get some food, and then head back because I'm not even gonna hold you. Me and cousin said we're gonna go um, ice skating today, but I feel like I might want to stay in. I gotta wake up at like five o'clock in the morning tomorrow. I feel like we could just get drunk and stay in, to be very honest with you, and watch a movie or something because ain't nobody here. Grandma, that looks it was bad. It was packed. It was y'all. I didn't even update y'all yesterday after I finished seeing my family. We had a cute little time. Um, yeah, the members are crazy. At daddy's side of the family, always gonna be crazy. But, um, we hung out, got some food, talked and laughed and stuff. That was good. But I got to see them before I went home. And as y'all can tell, I'm still in Charlotte. I'm not supposed to be, but I am still in Charlotte. Unfortunately, I missed my train ride this morning by maybe a minute. Um, so I had to buy a new ticket, um, and now my new train ride is set for tomorrow. So I'm gonna make sure this morning that alarms are blazing tomorrow morning. I'm not playing no games. There will be alarm at each post tonight in my face, in my cousin's face, in the living room, in the kitchen. I'm not playing no games. We're not playing any more games. But yeah, since I'm here, we're gonna make the best of it. We just left Waffle House, and I'm like I don't even think y'all understand, like. I don't even think y'all understand like Y'all the all-star special come with a waffle, some eggs, a meat, some toast, and an option to be the grits or hash browns. And like if y'all didn't know, if y'all never been to Charlotte, like they definitely want the, the residents of the state to be big backed. Like there's no reason why there's food on every single corner. And stay packed. It makes no sense. 
Um, but yeah, I'm about to make some dinner. i um, probably show you my little dinner process. We're gonna do um, air fried wings, some rice, some green beans. Cause after all this fast food, I'm like, I need a full, I need a good meal. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all once I like start seasoning the meat and stuff. cook get it out the way get it done with um and yeah while the meat is unthawing then season it up maybe watch the movie pop some popcorn and just relax so yeah i'll see you in a bit i'm calling a lady on you i just want you to know the lady's getting called and you're gonna hear for her and you're gonna tell her <laughs> and you're gonna tell her reason niece and nephew are just like obsessed with my suitcase i don't know why i don't understand it i just i i can't fathom it i don't understand why there's no catnip on that suitcase there's nothing on that suitcase but they just like to you know sit on the suitcase and you know lay down there i don't like i said i don't know what it is i just i can't explain to y'all i just don't know what it is cat people y'all tell me why they are obsessed with my suitcase uh, y'all we got a little so tequila and orange juice up in that hole Turn me up, I'm trying to put on me too slow. Yeah, chicken is in the air fryer, rice is done. Uh, green beans are gonna go on when the chicken is done and we're gonna have a good meal, period. Yeah, see y'all in a bit. I didn't even show y'all my food because that's like how how fast I ate it. Like, y'all know I'm big back. Like, y'all know I eat food and like the fact that I made this meal, I've been craving like a home cooked meal because all we've been eating is takeout. So I'm just like, ugh. It feels good in my system to have some vegetables. <laughs> but yeah, I ate that. I'm gonna finish off with my Kit Kat. I mean, eating Kit Kats. They've been, they've been busting. And then we're uh, watching the bootleg version of the new Wonka movie. Yeah. Um, like the plot, everything is completely different from the last two Wonka movies. There, the first and the second were very similar to each other, but this one is completely different. It seems like it like plays off of um, his life before the film. So if you're interested, definitely go watch. It's pretty good. I'm gonna finish packing up for the night and go to bed because we are making this trip tomorrow. No boss. If y'all can see Tana Liza's, I am home. I couldn't record in the train as I told y'all when I was coming, like, you know, going to Charlotte. The attendant was just being real, just snappy, and then you can't record, you can't record, and all this other blah, blah, blah. Um, So I didn't record on my way back, but I am home, guys. My mom and my sister picked me up. We got some Chipotle, and now I'm just unpacking my suitcase, about to shower, do my skincare, and get ready for work because I haven't been there in two days, and I already know my student is looking for me. So, yeah. Doing that, gonna smoke a little bit. Um, and like I said, just shower, eat, and then go to bed and get ready for work tomorrow. I have a whole bunch of laundry to do. I did some of my laundry at Dee Dee House, but the rest I gotta do now, tomorrow. So yeah, look at the back. The back is hefty. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do that after work tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, and then Friday I have both jobs, so pray for me. I'm gonna be tired. But yeah, I don't know when I'm coming back on camera, y'all. I'm probably just gonna, um, within the next couple days, just work on this vlog, getting it up, edit this stuff out. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I just wanted to come on here, say hi, close out this travel vlog, y'all. Charlotte was lit. Charlotte, stand up. Can't wait to go back in the summertime. Um, so yeah, y'all, have a great rest of y'all day. Thank you for watching this vlog, and I'll see you later, Tantalizer. I got too many hoes.